Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled, My Surreal Night with the Yeshiva Boys. The other night, about 9.40 or so, a knock on my door, and about 10 Yeshiva Bachers, Yeshiva Katana age, about 14, 15 or so, knock on my door. They want to come in and discuss something with me. I said, okay, of course, come in. And they heard, and I go up to our bite, and they wanted to go ahead and have a macha, have a protest to tell me this is wrong, it's unacceptable, what's going on? So I sat them all down, gave them a cup of water, and it was a bit of a surreal night with them. We had a good hour that we sat together, and it was bittersweet. The sweet part is they came to talk and to have dialogue, and we spent an hour discussing things and trying to explain my position and why I think it's not only acceptable, but it is good and proper, and one of the great misses of our generation. And we had a dialogue, and that's good. Because if there's a dialogue, there's a chance of a relationship. If there's no dialogue, then there's, you die. There's no relationship. There's no community. Community, if there's no communication. So that was a good part. The sad part is, the bitter part was, they're just worlds and worlds apart in so many ways. And during the three weeks, it's a good time to daven for healing. Worlds apart because... They kept telling me, the Gedolim say, the Gedolim say, the Gedolim say not to go up to Harabayat. And I tried to explain the Gedolim that you follow for sure, maintain that. From Rav Kanievsky to Rav Shah to Rav Steinemann, Rav Yashif, for sure. There are other Gedolim as well. And Rav Dovli or the Gadol. And Rav Nachman Rabinovich and Rav Nachtenstein. Rav Nachtenstein, I wouldn't say he was so into going, 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 rah, rah, but he certainly permitted it. Many of the Rebbe's and the Yeshiva Tamidim go up. So it's very important first to know there are other Gedolim. And there's nothing wrong with a Machlokas amongst Gedolim. And they're all holding by the Kola Torah Kula, they're holding in Shas and the Poskim and the Shulchan Aruch, and they argue, and that's fine. So that was one sad point, to realize that there's certain Talmidim who there's only one set of Gedolim and anyone outside of that, by definition, he's not a Gadol. But he knows Kol Tarkula. And he's holding. He's learning day and night. He's a Rosh Hashim. But he's not one of the Agadolim, so that's a tragedy. We need to dive in that. All of us could respect different Gedolim and different groups. Another challenging issue that came up is the whole kufa that we're in. Are we in a special period or not? So for some of our holy brothers, there's nothing great going on. There's no mitzvah of kibosh aretz, conquering Israel. Yeshiva aretz, settling the land. We have an army that's going to help us stay here and protect us with Hashem's help. And we're going to settle more land. And in my opinion, we're going to work on conquering the Ben Amikdash. It's just not part of the these young boys' lexicon. Vishavtim Batars Vishavtim Ba. Yrashta Batas Vishavtim Ba conquer the land, live in the land, dwell in the land. That Pasuk, it's a Pasuk in the Torah. It's just not anything they've heard or dealt with. The midst of the Ramban Kivasha Ara, it's Shuchan Arach. It's just not part of the language and it's not in their world. That word is Kufa. There's a Mitzvah Kivash and Yeshiva Aretz. And some of us maintain that the idea of conquering Israel applies especially to the Har Habayit. It's just not in the dictionary. So on the one hand, it was bittersweet. Bitter that only one set of Gadol and everyone else is just not a Gadol. Bitter that the philosophies are so far apart. The concepts, and not like we're arguing within the concept of Yisharat's Kivvisha Aretz, conquering Israel. This is a special to Kufa, but does it apply to Harbai or not? It's just worlds apart. So that's bitter to see such a thing. And the sweet part is they came to talk. They were walking out convinced, impossible, obviously. They come in for 15 years with a certain background, like one hour with some rabbi, a clean shaven rabbi who goes up to Harbai and says, I can go ahead and change him anyway. No. But they came to talk. So my tefillot for this time of the year is that we can argue, we can discuss things. And who knows, maybe sometimes we can understand the other side, sometimes not. 
but at least we could talk things over with each other. So I dive into Hashem, that we can have proper dialogue with each other, respectful dialogue, and we can understand that we can have one set of gedolim, and there's other gedolim with different opinions. And they're all giants, and they're all trying to grapple with major changes in history, and to try to figure out the best path forward. Yitz Hashem, which has Shalom, Reyes, and Achtas, unity, and Klai Yisrael, Shalom.